Welcome to Motor Vault Vehicles for Enthusiasts. I'm Josh and we have this lovely 1965 Backdraft Racing Roadster. If you guys like what you see on our channel, give us a like, comment, and a subscribe. This one is quite special and has a warm place in my heart. This is one of the Motor Vault Series 68 Backdrafts. This is a tribute to one of the 1968 Shelby Turbine Indy cars, in particular the number 69 car that Denny Holm drove, did not end up making the field because of quite a unique scenario. But this is a car that we have created, we have ordered through Backdraft. Let's take a better look at this Backdraft. The color palette on this one is quite nice. Acapulco Blue, which is a very, very significant Ford Motorsports color, especially in the 1960s. Sunlit gold center stripe with the gold centered wheels, the Goodyear stickers on the tires. This is as close as you can get color combo wise to the 1968 Shelby Turbine Indy car. And the reason why that car did not actually make the field is because Carroll Shelby had a few tricks up his sleeve on the steering wheel of those cars. There was a little lever to open the exhaust on the turbine exit of those Indy cars, which was illegal. And because of that, Shelby decided to pull the cars out because he was about to get caught and did not want his reputation tarnished. So, with that being said, that was the only time that Shelby did try to enter the Indianapolis 500. And with us being the only backdraft dealer in the state of Indiana, we love Indy history and we thought to bring it together on this badass 1965 backdraft racing roadster. Under the hood is a 427 Roush Stroker. And I think we need a peek under here and see how good that looks. The heartbeat of this snake, that Roush 427 Stroker, is quite phenomenal and it sounds and feels just like the original Shelby Cobras from the 1960s, the big block cars in particular. This one is making right about 550 horsepower, 535 foot-pounds of torque. These engines are phenomenal in these cars, especially when they only weigh 2,400 pounds wet. You will absolutely be flying in these cars down the highway and on the back roads. Oh boy, hold on. One other little touch we did on this and is a nice option from Backdraft is we did have the underside of the hood paint match stripe that's sunlit gold, which is a very subtle touch and you only see when it's open, but we like subtle details here at Motor Vault and especially with our Series 68 cars. One thing great with these Backdrafts is that they are very correct and pure, at least they can be to what the true, the true 1960s Cobras were. You could obviously go crazy and customize. You could do custom carbon fiber dash. You could do Alcantara steering wheel, you name it. But the way that I like these, especially when it comes to a tribute car from the 60s, is having that wood wheel, having everything very analog and right in front of you. Because when you are flying down the highway in these cars, you really can't tell much of a difference between driving this and an original. The only bit that you could tell is different is when you absolutely lay down on the throttle, you're gonna hook up a little bit better because of that limited slip and IRS in the back. One major improvement compared to an original Cobra in the backdrafts is that inside the backdraft, you have so, so much more space. They make it for people that aren't necessarily horse jockeys because those original Cobras are very tight. You can slide the seat back and forth, which is fantastic, especially for someone over six foot. And as well, nice little comfort for when you have a nice cool spring or fall day. Heated seats in this one keep you nice and toasty for that nice Saturday afternoon cruise. Out in the sunlight, this color combo looks absolutely brilliant. That blue with the metallic flake just pops and it helps accent the bodies on these backdrafts so, so well with the chrome trim and all the other classic 1960s looking bits. 
This car pulls all my heartstrings and hopefully yours as well. We're gonna be seeing this one again up at the Worldwide Enthusiast Sale with John Cruz and crew. It's gonna be a lot of fun. This car will be going on Saturday, the 27th here of April. And we will see you up there. But before we do that, I think we need to take this for a drive and experience the Backdraft Racing Roadster. because this is quite enjoyable the sounds the feels these backdraft roadsters are so visceral I love everything about them the lines the stance all the modern performance you get with the modern brakes the modern rear end limited slip IRS and then that Roush 427 under the hood does not hurt the scenario backdraft really really has dialed it in with their RT4 chassis. They've been building cars for a couple decades. And we really, really, really like these cars. And I love this one, especially being very classic looking with the wood steering wheel, with the classic blue, Acapulco blue in this case. That sound, that sound, yes! much better than that these cars are so visceral because you hear everything you smell everything you feel everything but you're just in a more comfortable platform than the original Cobras with the bigger seats with the extended floorboard man you can't go wrong with that what the legends did of the 1960s Dan Gurney Ken Miles all of those guys have that same feel but just better it's so so good and this one is as fresh as you could get we've only got delivery miles on it and then the only other miles added are what we've done here today in our driving video so she's fresh and ready to go is uh, pretty special. I didn't fully get into it deliberately. It's still in break-in miles. But man, whoever buys this is going to have a treat. There is no doubt in my mind. We really love the color combo on this one with the blue and the gold is we try to give that same feel as if you were back in the 60s in the Shelby turbine at the Speedway and banging off really, really quick laps. Obviously, this is a completely different platform, but just to capture that same energy, that is what Motorball is trying to do, especially with the Series 68 cars. All sorts of thunder. Give it to me! That's what it's all about. 1965, all new. This Backdraft Racing Roadster in Acapulco Blue is lovely in every way. It's such a fun drive. And with that Roush 427 under the hood, 
you are going to be moving very, very quick and will wake up every neighbor within a mile. With that being said, I hope you guys got a kick out of seeing this backdraft getting ripped around Indy. We will see you guys around for more great content like this.